Hello, I'm Brad from Star Labs, and today I'm going to be going through a test of Blender and Critter on our light device. You guys have been asking for these two specifically, so today I'm here to demonstrate. First, I wanted to show Critter. Now, after two seconds of load time, we can open up a new image on a default template. And I wanted to highlight that you can use pressure sensitivity with the pen and it changes the brush stroke size. Now, this pen also allows you with one press of a button, since there are two buttons, the one closest to the end of the pen allows you to erase. And the one closest to the end of your hand allows you to grab and move the image as you paint. Of course, you can rotate the image and change the size as well. It's quite convenient, really. And of course, I'm not an expert, so I won't know how to use all of these features. But let's move on to Blender. And now I will load up Blender. And here you can see it loads in less than a second. We're just going to open a generic file and I'll show you some object creation with the trackpad. Works as you'd expect it to. You can rotate also, another expected feature. There are many other free features that I'm not an expert to show, but I do know with the pen, it works extremely well. I can imagine this would be extremely helpful with this software. You can also rotate holding the button closest to your palm. Now, a quick disclaimer, you actually can't use the touchpad with your finger whilst using Blender. This is a known feature on most uh, handheld devices when using Blender, so this is understandable. But it works extremely well with the pen and the trackpad, so I think that makes up for it. So that was Blender and Critter on our Starlight. If you would like to suggest another app for us to try in the future, please let us know in the comments. And of course, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching.